Ah, the Grim Reaper. It's rumored that when everyone's time comes, he shows up as your guide to the afterlife. Of course, the description of the guy fits right along with his name, as you would expect. And although there are a lot of different descriptions of the Grim Reaper, many can agree the best known description is a tall, dark figure of a skeleton king wearing black robes and carrying a scythe. But the Grim Reaper doesn't just show up and he should be invisible, right? Join us as we take a look at five Grim Reapers caught on camera and spotted in real life. Before we begin, make sure you hit that subscribe button to get notified every day for more amazing content. With that being said, let's begin. Number 5. The Phantom of Grim Reaper Friends are always taking pictures of each other, and there are probably a billion photographs taken each day. Most of the time, your photos of your friends come out as planned, and after a while, no one thinks twice about the photo again. But that's not what happened when Daniel Dowling snapped a picture of his friend and cousin Craig Nugent as he was asleep on a chair inside the train coach they were traveling on. Both of the friends insist that nobody else was in the coach with them when this photograph was taken. The photo appears to show a skeleton-like creature in a hooded cloak. The only thing missing from the Reaper was the scythe, which might have been in his other hand. Apparently, Craig, who was a warehouse worker from Birmingham, had been at the Yas Marina Stadium all day and was very tired. Craig says that he thought the whole thing was a joke at first when his cousin sent him the picture he had taken, but Daniel promised he didn't touch the photograph. He said he just couldn't believe it. Daniel says that it can't be him in the picture because he was sitting opposite his friend in the seats, and that is why you can only see the camera flash. They said that the coach wasn't full and there were only a few people on the train. Both of the guys say that there's no photo trickery or any use of mobile apps that would cause something like this to appear in the photo. There are a lot of fake photos out there that frustrate paranormal investigators as they try to sift through the fake stuff to find something that isn't. Of course, there are applications out there that you can use to add fake ghosts and other things to your photos. He has a bit of a different belief about what's in the photo and thinks it could be a woman with long, dark hair instead of a cloak, but the tilt of her head is something from a horror film, a signal that the creature's about to attack you. So what was the reflection of the Grim Reaper looking figure in the photo? Only Craig and Daniel know. Number 4. Grim Reaper in a Cemetery A lot of people will agree that a cemetery's a good place to find the Grim Reaper. Well, that would be true if he was just dropping off someone. It's interesting what can happen when you go out to prove something doesn't exist and instead find the very thing you didn't believe in. That's what happened when a delivery driver ended up capturing the shape or outline of a Grim Reaper looking figure which looks as though it was hunched over a gravestone at night inside a cemetery. The ironic thing is that Dean Johnson, the delivery driver who took the photo, went there to prove that ghosts don't exist. We're not sure what Dean was taking pictures of, but he ended up snapping a photo of something that looks like a hooded speck that seemed to be floating between the headstones. This story has an interesting twist to it. Mr. Johnson has spent the last 30 years trying to prove to people that ghosts don't exist. He ends up visiting ghost hotspots and going around the country to debunk paranormal stories that people might think are fake. Dean had taken lots of random pictures around the entire cemetery. However, he was never expecting to see anything in the photos. The night he took the photo, it was cold, but there wasn't much mist in the air. But he said that he could see his breath and saw nothing like this. A lot of people who have seen the photo think it looks a lot like the Grim Reaper. But Dean says that he thinks it looks like a monk with his right arm behind his back, and especially with the big hood and cloak. He's also said that it's one of the clearest pictures he's ever taken in his life life where he can explain what's causing the anomaly. Of course, there have been some people who've tried to explain this by saying it's the mist from a breath in the frame, or maybe that it's different shades of white that are playing tricks on the eyes. Dean has good reason to not believe in the afterlife, and said that after he lost his brother in a tragic accident, he wanted to believe in ghosts, and also believed that his brother would be watching over him. He started reading books about ghosts and visited hundreds of haunted places. He says that 95% of the time you can explain odd things and photographs. He was at the cemetery that someone by the name of Richard Durham snapped a photo of what many people say has to be an outline of a hooded silhouette on a horse near a row of headstones. Some say they can see the hooded figure, while others say they see nothing. What do you think? Number 3. Grim Reaper Visits a Hospice 
It would seem like hospitals might be the best place to find the Grim Reaper, as creepy as it sounds saying that. A woman named Sharon Cole, who was visiting her father in a hospice, ended up seeing two incredible omens during her last visit with him. She ended up taking photographs of what she calls a ghostly gatekeeper and a raven, which is quite a scary thing to see inside of a hospice, as they're an omen that the Grim Reaper is nearby. The images were taken just hours before Sharon's father passed away. In one of the photos, there's a dark, shadowy figure, which looks like it's leaning over with a book in its hands. The other photo appears to show a raven or a crow sitting on a wheelchair. The interesting thing is that her father kept pointing outside. He was unable to speak towards the end, so it wasn't possible for him to explain what he was seeing and pointing at. She says that her father seemed like he was terrified, but she thought it was a reaction to his medication. While on her way to the ladies' room for a small break, she saw the figure dressed in black at the end of the hall with a book, and it looked as though it was reading the book. She said she was a bit scared and it took a while to get over seeing this figure. She found it unsettling enough to snap a photo. As we mentioned before, crows and ravens seem to have a weird ability of sensing when someone's about to pass away, and they're known to sometimes gather in trees of hospitals. But there were none at the hospice that day. There was nothing apart from the wheelchair and a single solitary crow that decided to somehow get inside and sit on a wheelchair. So you have a scary hooded figure and a crow inside the hospice on the same day. Sharon says that she's been able to see spirits since she was five years old. She took a look at the photos more closely and thinks that the dark figure's praying over some kind of book. She decided to share the deeply personal photos so that she can show others who are worried about their loved ones that they may have someone who's waiting for them on the other side. She says that she looks at the photos and it makes her smile, knowing that somebody was waiting for her father. Number 2. Grim Reaper Visits Cemetery this next sighting's a bit of a mystery, because many people saw what appeared to be the legendary Grim Reaper who was doing nothing but keeping silent vigil at a cemetery in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Some said that it was very weird and very scary, and also very unusual. At first, one witness thought that it was just an accident that the person was there and maybe lost, but then she noticed other people were starting to get out of their vehicles to look at the tall, dark figure who was shrouded in head to toe in what looked like a cloak with a black hood. Even though many people took photographs of the figure, no photographs show the figure's face at any time, not in any of the images. Many photos started to circulate around the internet, and one of the photos appeared to show the Grim Reaper holding a bouquet of flowers. Some people thought that this really was the Grim Reaper, as no one got close enough to the black hooded figure to figure out who or what it was. The police department was called, but it's not known if they ended up going to the scene, although some witnesses say that police and firefighters responded. Some people think that it's highly unlikely that it was a man because he's yet to be identified and there are no clues to anything about his identity. So who was the strange person if it was a man, and why was he dressed up as the Grim Reaper while visiting a cemetery? Another story says that this is a man who's wearing a black cloak over a white dress and calls himself the Light Wanderer and says that he comes to the cemetery to pray. But the man was quoted as saying that there's a place where sleepers sleep and dreamers dream and patiently await. This sounds exactly like something that a grim reaper would say. He was also quoted as saying that people shouldn't fear him. So the question remains, is this someone playing a silly prank on everyone or is this really the grim reaper himself? We'll let you decide. Number 1. Grim Reaper on a Beach Back in August of 2015, a father and his children went out to the beach in Southport Merseyside in Northwest England when they saw something scary on the beach. The figure looks like it's wearing a black coat or a long black cloak with the hood pulled up. It also appears that there's a long, thin object like the handle of a scythe in the figure's hand. The man who photographed the dark figure, Martin Woodward, was out with his children for a day at the beach when they first saw the figure in the distance. Martin said to his children that the figure looks like the Grim Reaper himself, but added that he has no idea what it was. The children would not go near the figure. There isn't much more to go on in this story, and it's not known if anyone investigated further to find out what it was. The photo did, however, manage to go viral, and people gave many explanations, from it being some kind of debris that washed up on the shore to it being someone with a metal detector. What do you think it is? Let us know in the comments. Hope you enjoyed the video, Top Fivers. If you haven't already, check out our other channel, Americano, to enjoy even more amazing list videos. 
there will be a link in the description, so check it out, as well as our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.